Minecraft is one of my favorite games of all time. I spent a lot of time on the Xbox 360 version of the game, but once I got my own laptop, I think I spent even more time playing modded Minecraft. The amount of hours I put into 1.7.10 and the various mods I had on it is insane. I remember building factories and science labs, creating an entirely new game for myself. Recently on YouTube, I've seen a bunch of people showing off nostalgic Minecraft mods, either ones that were once popular but have fallen from grace, or ones that they personally remember. So I thought I'd throw my hat into the ring and show off some of my personal favorite nostalgic Minecraft mods. Before we start, remember to subscribe. I talk about video games on this channel in an analytical style, so if you like those kind of videos, feel free to join our community. I also live stream from time to time right here on this YouTube channel, so if you want to come hang out, crack some jokes, or discuss stuff, come join us sometime. If you can't make it to those streams live, feel free to subscribe to my second channel, Rated M Live. I upload all the best moments from my live streams onto there. But with all that out of the way, let's take a look at some of my favorite old Minecraft mods. The first one I need to talk about is Buildcraft. Buildcraft is essentially the grandfather to what Create is now. You build massive machines to automate various aspects of the game for yourself. The one thing I built in every world I made was the quarry. You could build the central computer for it, power it up with various engines, lay out the framework, and this machine would dig all the way down to bedrock and distribute the items it mined into allocated chests. There was plenty of other features, but the quarry was the main one I remember building time and time again. It also added new generation to the world, like creating pools of oil that you could harvest. In a similar vein, Mine Factory Reloaded was another automation slash factory style mod, but a lot of the additions Mine Factory brings are a lot easier to set up. Arguably, my favorite mod of all time has got to be Tinker's Construct. The tools within Minecraft can get extremely boring to use, and it can get frustrating going through multiple pickaxes over and over, but Tinker's Construct not only adds new tools to the game, but allowed you to make these tools out of various resources that you couldn't use before. Combining different elements together would get you different bonuses for the tools, kind of like built-in enchantments. The actual process to make higher-end tools was really cool too. You had to build this massive forge that would melt down materials, and then you could form them into the heads of axes and pickaxes and shovels and all that. I loved building factories in this game, but I also loved making those factories look good, and I used a few mods to do this. The first being Crayfish's Furniture mod, which adds tables, chairs, couches, multiple appliances, and plenty of other household items into the game. This is arguably one of the most popular furniture mods for Minecraft, and it did have its really cool features, but it had nothing on Bibliocraft. Bibliocraft introduces a handful of furniture items that are more so intended for organization. Things like shelving, bookcases, tool racks, display cases, all that. But holy moly, I mean, look at some of these models. I mean, everything is rendered in 3D, and the actual models of the furniture themselves are beautiful. Like, look at the crayfish table compared to the Bibliocraft table. You can make custom chairs, there's armor stands before armor stands were a thing, and I just learned while making this video that you can make custom paintings, but I couldn't get it to work through CurseForge. It's just the way that it compiles mods, it, it just didn't work for me. Chisel was another really good decorative mod, which added multiple alternative styles to pretty much every block in the game. It also added some new blocks, such as marble. The next three mods I want to talk about are all done by the same person, those being the Hats mod, the Portal Gun mod, and the Morph mod. The Hats mod allowed you to collect cosmetic hats that you could equip onto your character. This is done by killing mobs who have hats equipped onto themselves. There's a handful of references to pop culture in this mod, and it was super cool to see all of them over the course of my playtime with the mod. The next one is the Portal Gun mod, which adds various items from the video game, Portal. This includes the Portal Gun itself, which lets you make, well, portals from one place to another. There's also the Long Fall Boots, which will negate fall damage, the Aerial Faith Plate, which will launch you into the air when stepped on, turrets, various music discs from music within the game, you get the picture. And the last one of these three is the Morph mod, which lets you transform into any mob you have killed. You'll gain its properties and visuals once you change into them. For some reason, it wouldn't work in creative, or it might have just not worked within the mod pack I was using, but I pretty much only used this to turn into a bat so I could freely fly around in survival back in the day, and that was like literally it. Finally, I want to talk about a weird one, and that being the custom NPCs mod. I don't know why, but I was like addicted to this mod back in the day. I would create my own NPCs to live in my factories or towns that did like literally nothing except stand there, but it made my worlds feel a lot less lonely. The mod also comes with its own slew of furniture, weapons, armors, and items. The mod is intended for adventure map creators to make, well, custom NPCs that the player can interact with. And rather than having to rely on texture packs to redesign items into other ones, there's various generic items that do pretty much nothing but give personality or NPCs. You can make guards hold guns and wear military armor, you can make ninjas with actual ninja gear and katanas, etc. And that pretty much covers it. 
I might do another one of these videos in the future as I found it pretty fun to go back in time and take a look at all the mods I spent so much time with during my youth. And hey, if you like this video, be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you haven't already. Also feel free to leave a comment as I try to reply to as many as I can. If you want to check out more videos, you can do so here as well as check out Rated M Live, which is where I upload the best moments from all of my live streams. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time.